Hi, I'm Javis Lewis, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to use image based lighting in DAS Studio with NVIDIA iRay. Image based lighting, also called IBL for short, works with by using an image, a high dynamic range image, to light the scene rather than using parametric lights that we've used in the previous video to uh, to illuminate your scene. So um, they're called parametric lights, by the way, because they have parameters that we can set, whereas the IBL or the HDR image doesn't really have parameters as such. But we're projecting an image onto something like a um, 180 degree kind of dome and the inside of that dome shines onto the center of our 3D scene. Now that sounds all a bit uh, loopy so I've uh, built a little scene in Blender to show you just uh, as a 3D model how that looks in uh, in any sort of renderer that, that uses that. Um, and let's let's jump right in. So this is Blender here and what we can see here is that I've just basically taken a sphere and cut it in half and put a floor on the bottom. So don't worry about the menus here. We're not really talking about Blender in this video. All we're doing is we're talking about how this principle works. So imagine that the inside of this dome gets an image projected onto it, like a really high resolution image. And that image from, from every Oops, um, yeah, from every polygon here will shine onto the inside of the dome. So basically where this little orange dot is here, that is the center of our scene. That would be where our character is or where our scene is built. And each of these polygons here reflects a part of the image that's on the inside of the dome. And of course we can do uh, many, many things with that. So we can, uh, we could take the whole dome and uh, and rotate it for example whoops not not that way uh, perhaps we're going to rotate it this way so then imagine the the one thing that's now gray here the, the one that I can't actually show right now the, the gray thing that's pointing at you the gray polygon if that was where the sun is in the image and we turn the whole dome around then with it the image will also be turned around and that will change the position of the light now, a uh, HDR image can also have more than one light, of course, much like you can have more than one parametric light in your scene. And that could be one light source from a lamp and another one could be the sun that's shining into a window. And uh, each DAS Studio scene comes with a very low resolution uh, HDR image. And I'm going to show you where that is and how we can make use of those effects. So. That's enough with Blender. Let's uh, switch to DAS Studio 4.9. I've got the same scene loaded as in the previous video, so one Genesis 3 figure by 3D Universe. And I've still got my two spotlights here. Those were the parametric lights that we added in the previous video. I'm going to totally delete those so that we see nothing anymore. Well, that we shouldn't really see anything anymore. But if we look through the camera and just quickly check that the camera's headlight headlamp is uh, switched to auto so now we're getting the the headlamp um, effect that is uh, I've explained that in the previous video it's like a little spotlight that's attached to your camera and no matter where you point the camera if you switch to auto mode then this light will always be on and this is so that you have some light in the scene so there we go that's the headlamp effect so we're getting a moderately strong light medium kind of light right from the front and that kind of illuminates the character quite nicely but we also have these shadows here that point to the left or shall we say the well kind of northwest in a way here and that appears to come from a light source that's over here so the light must come from here somehow to to throw this shadow into this direction because the only light that we have is the headlamp which comes from straight from the front and also it doesn't actually throw any shadows so we don't have any shadows behind the figure so this does not come from the camera to avoid any confusion here let me switch that off so headlamp I'm going to turn that off and Iray thinks about it for a second and now we see that the character is a little bit darker so we don't get that front light anymore but we do seem to get some kind of light and we can see the shadow here this is from her arm and we can see she, the shadow here that's from her legs and so some light is happening here but we haven't got anything in our scene and the headlamp is switched off so where does that come from well that is the IBL the image based lighting and whenever you create a brand new scene in DAS Studio it comes with uh, one such 
HDR image. And we can have a look at that under the render settings, under environment, which shows us lots of options, and under dorm, that whittles them down a little bit. And under environment map, here we see that image that is fairly small and a little bit blurry, but it's just enough to give us an interesting lighting effect and more, more to the point, a natural lighting effect. So the way these things are done, in case you don't, you're not familiar with um, HDR images, they are uh, photos taken with something called a light probe. And that's a 360 degree lens that captures a whole distorted image of a whole room of a whole environment basically so that it can be then reprojected onto something like an infinite sphere that i've just shown you in blender that we have it, uh, in this scene now as well in fact i can i can show you that if i switch on this option a draw dome so the dome is the thing that i've rebuilt in blender that that half sphere and if i switch that on then we see this background so it doesn't look like much but that's because this is a very blurry image so we see a little bit of orangey yellow here and that's what we're seeing on the left hand side of this image and that is kind of what we're seeing on the left hand side of, of our own render here now as well now if i turn the camera around then i can see that the background seems to change it's all blurry stuff but this is because that is what the that's what the image looks like a bit blurry and um uh, that that's kind of nice to have that as a as an effect uh, we can certainly pinpoint where the light source is so this is a bright part of the image this also seems to be a scene here in the image that uh, it, it depends on on higher quality hdr images you don't have these artifacts and more to the point you can you can actually recognize the um, the background there are some free ones on the internet you can have a look and uh, and use them i've pinched some from a program that's called keyshot and you can switch this image out and replace it with your own by just uh, clicking on that little image heading over to browse and then I've got three here that um, maybe we'll try the first one takes a moment to load and then takes a moment to re-render so this is now in somebody's uh, studio and uh, it kind of depends what uh, the image is you can position your character into a whole scene and the character will kind of look like it really belongs there because the scene takes on the lighting now the this is maybe not the best image to demonstrate this on notice that when i zoom in i can change the character's size but not the image in the background so if i wanted to have that a little bit wider then i have to employ some other um, tips and tricks we'll come to that in a little while maybe i'll just use a different image here So this is the roof of the company that makes ZBrush, in case you're wondering. And that's somewhere in LA, somewhere downtown LA, I suppose. And without having to set any lights, it appears that the character could have been literally here at that point and is already properly lit. And that's all just done by the image. Now, often what happens is that you'll probably get the best results if you mix the um, effects of an HDR image with the with some parametric light. So in this case, I'm thinking perhaps the background is a bit too bright. And if I had really photographed her in this position, I would have probably used the flashlight to brighten up her face a little bit. And um, you can do that. You can do it in Photoshop or you can uh, lower the intensity of the environment map. It's set to 2 by default, but if you uh, lower that down, whoops, not so much, uh, maybe we'll just lower that by uh, 1, then the, the actual light effect of the image gets less. So we can't really do that. Uh, if I set that to 1.3, then we can see that the image itself is getting darker, but also the effect it has on our character. So that's not the best way of doing it. Um, usually, an HDR image is, is often used to literally just take the light effect and not draw the picture. So in that respect, it doesn't matter if a picture is a little bit blurry or not. All we need to do here is switch off the dome, so don't draw the dome. And then all we have is the light effect. 
and then if we're thinking i like the light effect the very soft shadow here on that that was uh, that happened on that day but i could really do with the character being a little bit brighter and i don't want to set any parametric lights then we can crank the environment map up so we could set it to three and thereby increase the effect that the ibl has something similar can be done with the environment intensity so you can crank that up as well And that makes the character brighter or less bright if you wanted to uh, to lower this down a little bit. I mean, there's many ways of doing it. You can do it in tone mapping. Uh, you could do it by adjusting the environment map, or you can just Photoshop it later. That's also possible. I'm going to set this back to the default. And perhaps I'll try one last environment map. And see what that looks like. This appears to have two light sources here, uh, very diffuse ones, whereas the previous one only had a sun. This one appears to have two. They may both be artificial. Let's have a look. If we switch on Draw Dome, and we can also have a look at the image itself here. This is where you can see the distortion that this image has because it's been taken with a light probe. Oh yeah, so it appears to be an outdoor scene. Let's see if we can tumble around and find a spot for our character. Well, there we go. Maybe by the bike shed. Very cool. Now, if I wanted to turn my character around, I can do that. I can just click on my figure and then use the Y rotate to rotate her, perhaps in this case, 180 degrees. So that leaves the image where it is, but it turns the character around. But sometimes I may also find that the light interacts with the character and her pose very well. So uh, in this case, perhaps if I turn her this way around, I'm thinking, okay, I, I really like the, the light that's, that's on her face. That's cool. But I'm not quite happy maybe with the, with the wall here. And I'd like to turn the HDR image around, but I don't want to, I don't want to necessarily adjust the character. Perhaps I've got lots of characters. There's a way to twist the dome. So like what I did in, in Blender, I can, uh, I can twist the dome, uh, in the X, Y, and Z axis. And I can also rotate the dome. So the rotation only works via the, um, So rotation only works via the y-axis in Dash Studio. So if I do this, then I can see that the background image is changing position. And that means the character stays in the same place, but the whole dome rotates and with it, of course, the light source. Yeah, so perhaps she's just walking to her car. Or maybe we need to have a different pose for her as well. But you can see that there's a fairly realistic result that can be achieved with HDR images and image-based lighting. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to use the sun and the sky as a light source for your images. Stay tuned. Mm -hmm.